does that polar bear have a seal popsicle? <laughs> Whoa, now that you mention it, yes it does. Hi, my name is Terry Salee and I am a middle school science teacher in Hobbs, New Mexico. And I was so fortunate last year I had the opportunity to go on an expedition to Norway and to the Arctic Svalbard. During our ecology unit, my students needed to know the role different organisms play in their environment. I thought this would be a perfect time to bring out some of the pictures I had taken. So here's a slug <laughs> that was taken on Vega Island in Norway. Each image was also tagged with a number that we placed on our giant map. So students would see um, where each animal or plant was actually from in Norway or in the Arctic Svalbard. When looking at the learning framework, uh, we primarily focused on obs observation skills. I used a strategy called the three-story intellect. So students had a large piece of paper and groups would have three bigger squares. Inside the first square is where we would do the gathering of the information and that's the main observations. Um, they had to do everything like complete, count, define. Then in the middle square after this we had a processing and during that time they had to start making more inferences of why. And then we upped the rigor a little bit more by having the kids go and do some research with some application. So what did this look like? Let me show you one of these pictures. Here is the polar bear from the beginning. Um, we'll show a bigger view of this. And I had my students, they had to write at the beginning different observations. Here you can see that they're actually, when they get to the research phase for number three, um, I, we brought out other resources. So by having my students go deeper and make more observations on their own, I was really able to see some um, really good geographic literacy in some of my students. For example, when we looked at these um, reindeer, they started to notice that because of the harsh climate, they were smaller than average. And, and they discovered that some of these reindeer were actually female because slobbard reindeer, girl, females will actually have antlers, which that was surprised a lot of them. So I think that I, this activity accomplished a lot. Students were able to work together, made a lot of really good observations, both using technology and also using print. And they were able to see how a location can really have an impact on the role an organism plays. Thank you.